What was the price at which a merchant sold a certain appliance? I'm going to use the variable P for the price. So P is the thing we're looking for in this question. Statement number one tells us that the merchant's gross profit on the appliance was 20% of the price at which the merchant sold the appliance. So in other words, the profit equals 20% or 0.2 of P. Well, one thing you are expected to know on the GMAT is the relationship between revenue, cost, and profit. Profit equals revenue minus cost. And here, the revenue, the money coming into the merchant, is P, the price at which he sold the appliance. The profit, we're told, is 20%, 0.2 P. And so that means that the cost would have to be 0.8 P. In other words, the cost at which the merchant bought the item was 80% of the cost at which he sold it. So we get a lot of information from statement number one, but not enough information to actually find the value of P. So this is insufficient by itself. Now we're going to move to statement number two, and we have to be very careful here. This is a problem where statement number one gives us a rich amount of information. We have to ignore all that information and simply consider statement number two on its own. So statement number two tells us quite simply, the price at which the merchant sold the appliance was 50% more than the cost. So price at selling equals 50% plus cost. And if we just do a little bit of rearranging here, 50 equals the price at which it was sold minus the cost, we realize that this $50 is in fact the profit. So the merchant made a $50 profit in selling this. Okay, but knowing that alone, knowing that the merchant sold the, the item and made a $50 profit, that alone does not tell us the price. So this statement is also insufficient. Now though, put the statements together, we have that the $50 profit is 20% of the price. And so immediately, that means we could solve for P. And we don't actually have to go through the steps of finding the numerical value of P. All we're being asked in data sufficiency is, do you have enough information to solve? And now, indeed, we do have enough information for solve. So the information is sufficient when both statements are put together. And the answer choice is C.